Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Braves Diva Thanks for Being a Friend Collection and I'm a water marble with it. I've started off with Neltix Formula 2 as my base coat and Pure Ice Superstar. Gailene recommended this white and I had to try it. <laughs> and then I've topped it off with Posh Top Coat. I'll be using my liquid latex today. And here are the Braves Diva polishes. Shady Pines. Beat it, you 50-year-old mattress. Ah, chocolate cheesecake. And one of my favorites. Hi, it's me, Stan. And then Pussycat. And here we go with Beat It. No, I'm a jump, as jumpy as a virgin at a prison rodeo. <laughs> and then Picture It, Sicily. I'm going to build up my bullseye like usual. I'm just going to put that first drop in and run something around the side of the cup to get it to spread all the way to the edge. I just seem to have luck with it. And I'm just going to put drops of each color in. Oh, and that's not how we water marble, just so you know. Getting a little sloppy there. But I left it in because I want you guys to know I'm sloppy too. I make messes. I do turn the cup after the first round to help them spread just a little bit more. I'm going to do two drops of each color to build up my bullseye. And that little blob over on the side is not going to interfere with my design. Now, I, I didn't warn you at the beginning of this video, but it is a really long video. I trimmed it. I fast forward it. I sped it up. I did everything I could. But I don't get to water marble often, and I wanted to show you me doing all five fingers because they all turn out so different. Not only that, I think some of you might like this water marble and stuff, so maybe doing a longer video might be okay every once in a while. So I'm just pulling from the sides and dipping in, and I guess this is considered like a star flower leaf pattern. I don't really know what they're called. I just use them. I didn't come up with any of these designs. I just learned on YouTube and, you know, follow through with what I've learned. Now, I'm turning the cup to get it lined up the way I want, getting picking the part of the image that I like. And I am blowing on the top of that water because Brave Steva polishes are great for water marbling because they don't dry too fast. So to get that polish to dry, just go and blow on it. And there we go. Loving it. And I'm going around with the toothpick to break that seal. I do not want to pull up any of the water marble when I pull this latex off. I always like to do mine immediately after each dip I, and I've learned to you know just go ahead and break out these little scissors and trim up the back side of that latex and I'm able to peel it off without bumping my design sorry I'm out of frame but this is some tricky business people it's some tricky business and then I grab the edge of it with my tweezers and just kind of pull and snap there we go beautiful I am loving this so I'm gonna do this for all five fingers I don't think you need me to repeat the discussion on how I did it um, <clears throat> excuse me I'm just gonna build up my bullseye once again and draw my design in and dip my finger and you know some of that rinse wash repeats kind of stuff so um, while I'm thinking about it, um, I will leave a link for Tara's YouTube channel down below. She does some amazing nail art as well as create the most amazing polishes ever. I love, love these colors. These are so fall appropriate and I'm going to get a lot of use out of them. I'm going to leave a link for her store down below also in case you want to go check it out. Um, She's got, I don't know if you've seen my other videos on, on her, you know, swatching her polishes or playing with them, but I've always been impressed and I'm going to keep going back for more. Um, in fact, I've got two more coming and as soon as I get here, I'll be swatching them and showing them off to you. So, I'm going to just blop, 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 making these designs in the water. This is so much fun for me. If I could water marble for every manicure, I swear I would do it in a heartbeat. I love to water marble. I think it's just the coolest effect ever on the nail. I just, I'm so eat up with it. It is the reason why I'm into nail art. 
it's I saw Colette do it on my simple little pleasures and vowed that I would not give up until I figured it out and it took me a while and sometimes I still have trouble but it's still hands down my favorite technique I got a bubble I'm popping it and dipping back down another bubble I'm trying to get them to pop and then slip back down so that some of that polish lays back over the nail here we go I'm gonna go around with that little toothpick again and let me know down below if you don't mind seeing me dip all five fingers or if you would prefer me just show a couple of them and the final result uh, you know I'm happy to do these video videos any way that makes them more enjoyable for you all uh, you know I'm still kind of new at this I haven't been at it quite a year yet or no a little over a year going on two years in April how about that and so I'm still learning I'm still learning what's too long what's too short what it is you guys like to see and I know that I can't please everybody but you know I really do want to try to make consistent and decent videos <laughs> I'm not gonna push the envelope I don't expect them to ever be great my lighting is horrible <laughs> I'm working with the digital camera you know I'm working with what I got and so far I'm, I'm not embarrassed by any of it I'm just you know asking you guys to let me know what you want to see long short full-bodied robust I don't know <laughs> so while I've got your attention um, I don't know I, I probably haven't mentioned this because I haven't recorded too many videos since I went stinking crazy on the Black Friday sales um, I know I said in one of the videos that I'd already blown my budget but you know I scrounged up some more money because there were some more things I had to have and I knew they were coming um, but I, you know I did place an order with glam polish you guys will be seeing that as soon as they come in you know I will rip them boxes open and be ready to swatch those no matter what's on my nails we're gonna get to swatch them and um, I also got some more Brave Steva polishes like I mentioned earlier and I also went to Live Love Polish and grabbed some A Englands that were marked down on their sale to $5.99 now A England is one of those brands that I just cannot get enough of and I don't really own that many of them and when I saw them for $5.99 I could not stand it so I uh, uh, spent and got me some so you guys will be seeing those also I also picked up a one floss gloss it was on sale for $4.99 I could not believe it I wanted more of it you know I've been so bad buying all the polishes bad B-A-D and um, so I had to behave but I got Malibu job and sister chick has raved about that one and I, I, I knew I had to have it Okay, now I did bump my um, middle nail. I do have a boo-boo on it, and it's okay. That pattern's so busy, nobody's going to notice but me and you guys in the swatch photo. But if you weren't staring at it up close, you wouldn't notice it. And who knows, maybe in a day or so it'll bother me and I'll have to put a stamp or something over it. So I hope my rambling hasn't been too much. <laughs> I'm a little chatty. I've had a really good day. I've been playing nail polish all day. I threw dinner together and threw it in the oven so that I could keep playing. And I've just had a fantastic day with the nail polish. And I just, you know, figure it's a long video. Y'all don't want to hear just static, right? So, a chat and we will go. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what Black Friday deals you got in on. I had originally planned on getting a whole bunch of Zoyas, but when they just went 50% instead of 70% like last year, I just was like, nah, because I know that they'll have their Earth Day sale, and it'll, it's normally 50% also, so I thought, well, no big rush on that. Plus, with Zoya, most of the polishes I want are in their core collection, so I wasn't worried about them being sold out. I just focused on the Indies you know the limited editions and things like that and uh, so anywho and so we've had batteries dying that was the bleak just now was the battery dying and um, 
so I had to change out the battery with wet nails, how fun. And I'm cleaning that all up with the toothpick and sliding it out slow. And then the battery died again, changing out the memory card this time. Here we go, we're gonna finish this bullseye. I was very quick. And this right here is proof that these are great for water marbling. Cause look, this is not dried. I'm not having any trouble drawing in my design. I had to change out a memory card with wet fingernails and that polish that had already been dropped into the cup stayed pliable and look at this I'm not having any problems with it love it y'all Miss Tara does some amazing water marble and polishes if you've been frustrated with it you can't get it to work buy a couple of Tara's polishes and give them a try I mean you know, I wish somebody had told me that before, you know, I went crazy buying all the polishes, trying to find stuff that would, would water marble. I haven't had any of hers not do well. Well, the metallics don't, but she she made that very clear when she sold them that, you know, but her creams, oh, fantabulous. Now, I wasn't ever into the Golden Girls, you know, and... You know, I, w I would watch them. Like, if they were on TV, I would totally watch them. But I didn't, like, follow them or anything. But I do love this collection. This Thanks for Being a Friend, the Golden Girls collection. It's amazing. The colors are just fantastic. We're going to try to get this camera dialed in better. And we're going to put a top coat over this and seal this water marble in and call it finished. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. I always love chatting with you. Here is my swatch photo. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.